we're gonna see two of the nodes that are very prominent in the main editor. We have here the tabs, which are, you know, like every time you create a new instance or here you, we have the scene and the import. Those are basically containers with a control node inside. And also let's take a look at the split container. This kind of control node that enables you to readjust the size of two controls relative to each other. So let's go ahead and create a user interface and I'm going to add a child, which is going to be our first one. Here inside containers, split container, horizontal split container, which is this one that we have even here on this node. Okay, how does this container work? This container will take any element inside of it and it's gonna split it automatically. Let's create a few panels. I'm using the color rect so we can see them better. Let's see, let's create a red one and let's add another one which is gonna be blue. Okay, so we have both panels and okay, first things first. You will notice that it this one collapsed so first of all let's make the layout full rect and now in the first one let's add a minimum size here on the rect minimum size of the x is going to be 200 so now it has 200 i'm very similar to this proportion let's try it out okay let's save it test okay and we see here that we have this functionality working already and it has a min size and yeah that's pretty much it and okay let's see now how the tab container works container tab container so tab container is very similar to the split container it will automatically create different tabs based on the main children's that it has um, let's see let's gonna let's do this one green let's add another one which is gonna be uh, pink and another one which is gonna be yellow okay so we have three as you can see one of them is only visible the other ones are not by default let's make this bigger and now let's replace this blue one with the tabs so i'm gonna remove this one and okay so the tab align has this property which will make the tabs visible or not drag to rearrange which is the one that you can you know like if you keep your mouse press and you release it you will change it and the alignment which is the position of these tabs so left center or right let's go with left because it's more similar to what we have here and let's try this out okay so we have our split container here and we have three different tabs each one of them with a different control color nose I'm using these examples of course as a color node but you know this can be a more complex structure. You can have a graph edit node here like the ones we saw on previous uh, examples and you know like you can have a graph node in one of them and then you know some other complicated things like it doesn't have to be just a color but only an example. And again, the same you can do with this other element. And um, you know, horizontal split container can have also the visible, visible uh, drag or not. Hidden, if we try it, like we cannot, you know, like use the mouse to move it. Hidden and collapse will also remove the space between them. And the default, which is the visible, is you know, how you have it by default you can see and when you hover you change it and yeah uh, so those are very very useful nodes that you can have in any composition that might need them and especially if you're doing programs more complicated like Godot itself 
you will need to play with these elements to create a better environment for your program. So that's it for today and see you next time. Thank you.